My dear friends, best greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, and this is my channel about entomology, about nature, about insects, about how to love insects, how to study insects, how to investigate them, how to love nature, and how to believe in nature. Well, uh, this is my show, my, this is my direct stream, is devoted to a special subject. Special subject a review of Japanese channels about entomology, about insects. Well, why? Because, because uh, actually in our English-speaking society, in the Russian-speaking society especially, the subject of entomology has been shown not so much, but nevertheless in Japan, which uh, population is over 180 million people, actually, the subject of entomology is quite popular, more or less popular because of a culture, because of attitude of people to entomology, to insects in the in culture. Well, that's why today I will try to show you several uh, YouTube channels from Japan. So Japanese channels, interesting, but uh, actually they are all indicated and all people are speaking in Japanese language. So. That's quite difficult to understand for people who are not familiar with Japanese language and especially with some characters which is named kanji and the alphabet katakana and hiragana for sure. But nevertheless, channels are quite interesting and because, because people are devoted to the nature, to entomological and insect study, and actually uh, in Japan, uh, this is a quite a uh, very highly technological country. That means many people have uh, not only t smartphone, but also video cameras and different entomological equipment. It allows them to record uh, different features of insects and behavior of insects on camera in different situations in laboratory, in a in terrarium, or in the field in nature, in a rice field, in a forest, somewhere in flowers. So let's start from the beginning. And yesterday I showed some of my video regarding hornets. So that's why we can try to show you, first of all, some hornets, which has been shown. So I will ch change. Japanese giant hornet. Well, let's go. Well, uh, definitely for many people, the Japanese hornet is a uh, dangerous stuff, and this is a uh, Vespa mandarina. So, and unfortunately, many people are trying to eradicate them, trying to destroy them, and some people who are beekeepers they are not happy about it at all because. Uh, Vespa mandarin or giant Japanese hornet is quite a big. So they are making this kind of a sticky traps. Uh, very unpleasant for hornets, uh, maybe a little bit pleasant for beekeepers. So, and because they're very sticky with very advanced Japanese glue, some hornets come in. So they may, they're just diffusing some pheromones, attracting another hornet. And so some, and many of them coming together and dying. So this is uh, uh, so destructive and so slightly unpleasant trap for hornets, uh, maybe for nature, but uh, definitely it's important for beekeepers to control, to control hornets. But some people are trying to observe hornets in the nature or in the laboratory as well. So let's start. I my all the channels were just written here in Japanese, so I show you it later. Okay, in Japan there are many exhibitions, exhibitions devoted to insects and animals, and many very nice museums. So there are some exhibitions devoted to insects. For instance, this exhibition uh, just in the beginning was show, shown. This is Insect Paradise 
exhibition, excellent paradise exhibition, especially devoted to aquatic insects. Aquatic insects in Japanese Gengaro, this is Dytis silly beetles, uh, predaceous diving beetles. So they're quite big, about uh, four or five centimeters. They're especially adapted to life in the water. And Japanese are very famous because of a lot of uh, rice fields, lakes, ponds. So this is a paradise for aquatic beetles, definitely for dirty city beetles. So Gengoro only disappearing because of influence of humans, some pollution of rice fields, which is coming to the streams and then can come slowly to ponds and lakes. So that's why in some areas for population of div predaceous diving beetles not so high as before. Some species are considered to be endangered, becoming a rare. But in laboratory, in this lovely exhibition, different animals like this one, they are just shown as freshwater animals. In yeah, like this one, all these kind of crabs. Okay, and other and other invertebrates. Exhibitions are, are very, very popular in Japan. So, the, especially like the centipedes, centipedes, big one. But this is not from Japan, actually. This is from Madagascar, but big one from tropical areas and some species distributed in Indonesia as well. But probably this species, especially from Madagascar. Let's start, let's continue our review. Uh, well, what's another? I show. Next one. Next one. Well, but there are special shops, not only exhibitions, not only museums, but special shops where you can go and buy for a decent or very high price some pieces of insects, like this uh, approximately, okay. And $69, $60 for this arena beetle, which has uh, been artificially cultivated. Okay, yeah, 69 about 70 and US dollars. Of course, it's sold in Japanese yen. Yens. Well, so in these shops, specialized shops, uh, many different, very nice, colorful, big size arena beetles, different beetles, which are cultivated artificially in artificial farming areas in Japan. Some species imported, some species is from Japanese areas, uh, but Japanese people, some young people, they enjoy very much to feed them artificially in terrarium, like this huge one. Definitely this is from beautiful tropical areas and not not native, not natural for Japan, so uh, imp imported and artificially cultivated. But size is really huge, about, you see, about 10 centimeters. Looks very nice, beautiful. There are some plastic, plastic beetles in a shop for kids, but some kids enjoy very much, and some anim uh, adults as well, to touch, to play, to enjoy, to have a fun enjoyment with the real beetles. So that's why it's possible to find this kind of a shop and buy a nice beetle just for fun. And there are some equipment, some food, some special wood with some vitamins, with some addictives. Or oh, you see a full shop like, like a pet store. This is a pet store with huge beetles uh, exposition and some animals as well with pets, some, uh, some rodents, some mouses, and yes, some small tiny mouses as well. Uh, but uh, in other countries, probably, uh, there are not so many such kind of uh, insect shops. Zoo shops, pet shops, they can be like this one with these small rodents. But for beetle shops and for beetles, you see like these beetles magazines, this wonderful, very much colorful, Journals devoted especially to beetles, to rhino beetles, to stack beetles, 
with absolutely amazing photographs and uh, this is kind of a competition bigger size different anomalies of a shape it's shown on photographs and it's uh, also the difference in the price price can be pretty high up to hundred dollars and more for just for one beetle and entomological and popular literature about insects uh, is a uh, very widely distributed in shops in Japan, not only in the specialized shop, in every bookshop it's possible to buy a, a book devoted to insects, Japanese fauna, flora, uh, plants and fauna, animals and especially to insects. You can find in any bookshop and here you see here some pieces of wood which is used also in terrarium to put a beetle, the beetle will be crawling, sitting on a piece of wood and then just special soil, special soil, special food, uh, like a jelly, jelly food for beetles. And so this is, a, and of course, a butterfly, butterfly net. If you want to go to forest and some entomologists, some amateurs who like beetles, they go to the forest and show us how do they do it. How do they collect? Hello, who is joining us? Hello to Azerbaijan. Devices uh, are not connected, it's, uh, it's written, so we cannot communicate. So, so many entomologists, many amateurs coming to the forest and showing some insects in a field, in a field, and it is especially interesting, especially interesting. So, so uh, we can, for instance, as I said, Japan is uh, very famous because of lakes, ponds, streams, everywhere around. So, some people ha have very nice equipment like this very long, very long butterfly nets. So, other dragonflies nets, and some be some species of dragonflies. Uh, in Japan, Japanese language, Oniyama, Oniyama is a huge, like this one, very colorful, uh, quite a big, okay, they're still alive, but so if you keep them carefully, you do, do not destroy it, you can take a photo, take uh, just animal from the net, do not kill it, I just show it on video, carefully, carefully, and, uh, and this channel is which we've uh, not so many subscribers, just over 300, showing this very nice dragonflies, the biggest Oniyama, some biggest species of Oniyama. And especially if you use zoom, zoom on your camera, you can just change the distance, you can show the size of dragonflies just closely, their features closely, because they're not very small. With a zoom, you can just well, make uh, the picture much closer than just it is because dragonfly is usually very careful insect you must be very careful to take a photo just in a close distance and take a video because it's, it will disappear immediately in a few seconds and here is this funny video okay we are talking talking about dragonflies and show them Two species, two species of dragonflies, two species of Aniyama were different in coloration, in slightly in size and in, in shape of. So that's why if you if you collect dragonflies, try to be more human. Do not kill all dragonflies, do not kill all insects if you are catching them just for fun. Just it is a real fun just to take them alive, keep them, you see, just touch, touch them, touch them carefully, touch them carefully. Do not kill them immediately to be very much greedy about them. No, just maybe just to feed them with some another insects, you see, because they're opening in the mandibles, they're opening mandibles, you can try even to feed them and just release them. Okay, as a kid, this uh, dragonfly is just moving with other abdomen so very very nice and very funny okay 
let's let's show next one and there are some lovers who enjoy very much beetles beetles are absolutely gorgeous in some collections let's start let's start to show another one okay uh, this channel is a very nice one this uh, especially you see here on logo type logo type this is and just a young small kid with a net a butterfly net crawling around so this is channel devoted to insects and you see very different we're very careful in time special observations so very careful so many about butterflies about caterpillars and uh, in a group of some young boys and it's uh, written also that this is a channel of person who is just actually a singer who is making his business because of singer and uh, singing some sounds making some music but from time to time showing this nice beautiful caterpillars like this and like papillonide butterflies which are very common in japan and of course showing some uh, the, you see this is side citrus citrus egg of butterfly and on citrus uh, many pieces growing this is a young larva of a macaon papillo yes a bigger one which is changing and this just later will be big one which is also very common and very 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 popular in japan because Citrus is uh, uh, widely and easily growing in Japan. In Japan, this plant is very common. So this is on orange, on citrus. So they're eating the smelling leaves of citrus, of orange. And it's very careful, very soft. This, this caterpillar is very pleasant to touch. And if you touch it, she will show some red horns on uh, near near the head i'm just waiting if he will touch it and show just for kind of protection well yes for instance you can carefully touch it do not yeah it's, it's like a eye on just on a picture so we can make the proposal that this is a, like a kind of a mimicry to be like a small small snake so maybe some birds will be afraid about it and if touch the head it will appear just like a tongue like a tiny tongue a red tongue which is showing just the danger yeah, and it can be dangerous for birds and they will release this very huge and very soft and uh, totally careless totally careless caterpillar but she has the protection with this tiny small horns on it uses some drops and tiny this is the first young larvae yes so this channel is really really very interesting and and i really advise you to see this is a channel with this logo type about more than 57 subscribers let's let's go to see someone else okay yeah and uh, finally just as uh, this is chrysalis chrysalis and just butterfly is coming butterfly is coming hatching from chrysalis from pupa and this is a process of metamorphosis metamorphosis absolutely gorgeous this is a marvelous and very beautiful process and finally so beautiful papillo papillo a lovely one and you can feed them even with a little bit with sugar so that's why and release it release it so we'll be flying around away flying away and just coming back again to the plant host plant which is orange host plant is orange so easy to find let's go for the next one and share the screen share the screen of some another lovers of insects i will show you well 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 and of course cicadas cicadas in japanese language cicada zemi 
Jamie is very popular, so where everywhere, where everywhere, we are singing the lovely songs. So and their names are different. So Abura Jamie, this is like a boiling oil. We have a special adaptation for singing, and this man uh, with a very good channel, O channel, with more than nine hundred thousand subscribers and devoted to fishing, nature, and different sizes. Also showing sometimes insects like this uh, abura zemi and so showing his structure on the abdomen what he's doing i'm not sure trying to break ah he's trying to show this the tongue the tongue the stick what well, they're trying to show on the stick because the stick is a very strong because yeah, yeah he, he's trying to show this is a special stick which is used just to penetrate the plant to penetrate the plant for sucking for sucking the juice or the moisture from the plant because uh absolutely cicadas are absolutely not dangerous they're just a little bit noisy or very much noisy if you are in japan they're everywhere just very noisy in the summertime and people say and do you know you do not like cicadas maybe no i say i really enjoy them because i know this is a, a zemi abura zemi mimi zemi tuku tuku boshi tuku tuku boshi uh, very nice one and uh, so it looks very funny very interesting yes you see here this is a portrait portrait of uh, cicadas they are really very funny very funny with the antenna with a big eyes and of course with a stick which is for penetration of the plant and big legs big legs and they're flying very well they're flying very well yes absolutely gorgeous and with special yeah you see this is a stick and here this is special apparatus apparatus for singing for making noise for special plates for making noise to echoes and very transparent very nice and strong transparent wings strong transparent wings greenish grayish and so, so there are several species or special number of species of cicadas which are widely distributed in japan and southeast asia different species some species the same like in japan some are very different and sizes this one is a quite a big more than five centimeters and so noise is uh, quite strong so cicadas absolutely gorgeous very nice and if you release them they will fly away very quickly they jump a little always they have wings so they have wings by flying very fast and only after dying they're just dropping out just on the soil on the ground after the just life cycle because they lay eggs inside the plant inside the branches and larvae are growing a little bit and then just by living hidden under the ground feeding on the juice on the soil uh, roots of plants so the, most of their life cycle are practically invisible small size of cicadas living underground only just adults coming out okay let's go forward then this is o channel very interesting one really very interesting and quite a big one so let's show next one let's let's go to next one and of course as i said some beetles are very very popular in japan beetles breeding beetles rearing beetles in captivity and also catching these beetles with a light trap so some people are coming to the forest making just a strong light with a japanese thing with a car so from car with, where is a light and you see the nature is uh, absolutely wonderful in japan so people are making a good good light and so many butterflies and all insects coming in and with light trap uh, you can collect many many different species of insects small butterflies and even small 
not small, are quite a big stag beetles like this one. So you see many small butterflies crawling around. Oh, yes, some grasshoppers come in, some butterflies, night moths come in, and stag beetles as well. You see stag beetles, quite a big one, like the same species, similar species of stag beetles living in European part of Russia and Ukraine and Europe, but this is Asian species and many Japanese amateurs and entomologists, lovers of insects, they enjoy very much collecting stag beetles because stag beetles, they have huge horns, huge horns, so horns uh, were very attractive, so they like to, to just check what is the size of horns, what is the size of beetle and enjoy it very much so we have a, sometimes very big very large collections yes like here during the night this these men they collected several individuals of this uh, nice beetles and logo of this man is also devoted to beetles and you see very good very nice equipment special light with quite a bit uh, with some cooling system cooling system and a very strong light for collecting so really devoted and lover of beetles let's forward to see next one let's forward to see next one what is interesting here there are some species some another lovers of insects which are showing interesting subjects and we can Try to see it. That's a hornet. Okay, this one. Okay, if you check with hornets, hornets, many people are just showing hornets because uh, people do not like hornets, you know, do not like hornets because they're dangerous, they're stinging, stinging, and it's dangerous. So they're dangerous for life, for health. Uh, but some species like this, like this man with a huge number of subscribers and his fisherman as well he's showing in this video for instance he's he made special zoo special box with this nest of a hornet a giant japanese hornet this is all channel i showed him before a channel he made special aquarium closed of course because hornets quite a big one but in Japan, there are also some plastic hornets, some plastic toys. Even this hornet, which is costed more than $100 and size about 15 to 20 centimeters, absolutely gorgeous. With this, it can be dismounted and mounted again. This is you can make international order on Amazon to buy it. So the one company is selling it worldwide. So this is not natural hornet, he's showing it he's keeping in hand just for fun just for fun you see here this is not a real one this is a just plastic one but the another the nest is real the nest is real yeah but but this plastic hornet is is done like a huge copy huge copy of japanese hornet oh sorry about this 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 advertisement is coming everywhere. So he is trying to show some behavior of beta, no hornets in semi-natural conditions because if it is closed aquarium, it's much better, much easier to show hornets on a close distance with a good magnification, with a good and much better magnification. Well. So and make some toys, make some plays as well. What do we have as well? In some another links. Some another links. Uh, well, probably the latest one. I am not sure. So what uh, next one is coming? And this also channel devoted to hornets with logo of hornets over fifty. Sub, 5,000 subscribers, and uh, you sh I sh should say, uh, of course, uh, most of 
pictures in Japanese. And some Japanese people were like very much to make kind of a battles. And battles so between some beetles and cicadas, between mantis uh, and praying mantis and some uh, hornets between praying mantis and some beetles, between cicadas and uh, mantis, between hornets and hornets, between beetles and hornets. So I'm not so sure that this is quite interesting. But be, but if some people like this man can collect hornets in the wild, be careful about very much, uh, or can buy some beetles in a shop as well, so then can put it in aquarium and uh, trying to show this is for people for people and uh, some people enjoy it. Some people enjoy. It. I do not like it very much. I like to show. Uh, the morphology and behavior of insects in a, in a, the natural conditions in the natural but of course like to show this nest for instance okay sorry this is advertisement again advertisement again oh well so some stupid advertisement sorry about that oh but this is easier uh, when you collect some nest of a hornet, some hornets are coming. So, and it's possible to show the behavior of coming, hatching hornets. So, made uh, this hornet the, the male with a long antenna, quite visible, long antenna, so the male. So, made a not very big hole. So, trying to escape, maybe it's difficult for him. So, that's why. Is not able to come or very carefully come in. So, and this is also a process to observe a natural behavior of insects when you can see insects on a, in a close distance. And actually, even this dangerous hornet is not so dangerous when he is just freshly coming. Freshly coming hornet it has a very soft wings, cannot fly immediately, and so very careful less very careful so you have opportunity to observe them even even if it is huge dangerous and very big giant japanese hornet and this is another one or maybe the same but trying to make a hole bigger hole bigger just to escape to hatch from it and so for this individual but if he is sitting inside his wings will be stronger and maybe after short period of time he will be able to fly but usually if it is coming even worker queen or, or male hornet is not flying very well so let's show let's see what is going on later oh yeah because yeah finally finally hornet is coming and this process already i showed myself I, i've seen myself in my culture of a hornet you're uh, European hornet and also I showed it on my channel how hornets are coming hatching and I guess that this is a not a worker but male male because of antenna is much longer much longer than before so but male fortunately is not stinging at all so with male you can play you can take it in a hand let's see difficult to recognize about abdomen immediately well, you see a very big one very big one maybe even in not the male maybe a queen because this, I, I guess this is a male 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 right right very long antenna male so stingless stingless so so not so dangerous if you keep hornets and you can recognize a male and female with a male it's easy to make video and to make some kind of a discussion and lecture but be very careful about hornets about wasps if you try to record video be careful to know their behavior to show them properly and very carefully thank you okay this is a short review of some japanese channels for today i'm very pleased that you've been together with me i hope it was interesting to see some 
Japanese channels. And don't forget about my Patreon page, which is just for financial support of my channel. Welcome to be sponsor or patron on my Patreon page. Very easy to do it with your credit card because now we are living in capitalistic society. And this is financial motivation is quite pleasant indeed. And very simple, very simple. Even if you are somewhere in Australia, in New Zealand, or in Brazil or Argentina, just one small drop of your one dollar will be very not help, so helpful, but not so pleasant, but useful. Useful. I can share it with you because it will go for future next videos and to, it will go to some tickets for traveling and also to equipment to show to record some insects in the nature, in the wild, in laboratory. So don't forget about my Patreon page. And of course, write your comments and ask your questions under this video. Thank you very much for coming. Welcome to my channel to see some another videos which are uploaded on my channel and you can select according to your interest, to your curiosity, to your fun about butterflies, moths, beetles, grasshoppers, caterpillars, about bugs, about hornets, bees, honeybees, beekeeping. Many subjects are present on my channel. And of course, write your comments in English or you use Google Translate for communication. I will, I'm very open and I'm always very ple ple pleased to communicate with subscribers about any questions regarding pests or insects conservation in, in the contrary or observations for insects so welcome to my channel and welcome to write your comments under this video uh, and under other videos because comments and subscription also is a pushing channel forward and it's good for education of people don't show only that, uh, that insects and hornets and bees and other creatures dangerous but to show that they are interesting curious very very pleasant and you can develop your curiosity in the nature in natural process in evolution of course and in the biology and it's enlarging your view on, on the world on the nature and it's enlarging your knowledge thank you for very much i hope this was video was education and thank you very much for Japanese authors I will write down their links and thanks to them for showing them if YouTube will not block me because I made this a huge special review of different Japanese YouTubers and the copyright of their videos so this is their copyright but I just showed them just for curiosity for scientific knowledge and for education of people in the nature so welcome to my channel don't forget to write comments, subscribe, and press likes, and welcome to Patreon page. Good luck, and see you soon on my channel. Bye-bye. See you soon on my channel. Bye-bye.